the results from the 2D seismic acquisition and, and purchase, because we actually purchased some um, inline crossline data from a 3D seismic shoot that was done last year, and that complemented the 2D acquisition that we shot ourselves this year. The preliminary results from that will be out in August. So the 2D crossline inline from the 3D that's been mainly processed already because that was done last year and those results will be the first ones out and that's they're the results that are focused around the Icewine 2H drilling location and then the other results will follow that. Well, the real answer to that question we won't know until we've drilled the Icewine 2H well, which will have a production test. However, based on what we do know today, which is all centred around the results from the core analysis from the ice wine number one well we drilled last year, that tells us that we have the potential for high flow rates. So when we look at this play versus other unconventional plays in the lower 48, we have some very compelling characteristics in the rock, such as high porosity and, and also permeability. So the permeability was something that was um, a little bit of a surprise for us. It was a bit higher than what we expected. And consequently, uh, we have got higher flow rates than, you know, potential flow rates than what we expected. The Icewine 2H well is scheduled to spud in Q1 of 2017. So all of the planning and permitting for that is well underway at the moment and we're making good progress on all, on all fronts. And that well is designed to have a fracture stimulation associated with it. It will be a lateral and also a flow test. So that will be, you know, the real big test for the HRZ play in the coming months. Yeah, so the HRZ formation is at approximately 11,000 feet. So we'll drill vertically down to that uh, depth and then kick off a lateral well. And this lateral will drill to around 3,000 feet. So what we're trying to do is get a representative rate, which we can then extrapolate to a longer length lateral that you would use ultimately in a development scenario. So today we released some um, results from some of the cost analysis that we've done recently and combined that with the potential flow rates that we see based on the metrics from the core that we measured in the ice one number one well. And when you put those two things together, the cost and the production assumptions, what we're seeing is very compelling economics where the break even prices for the project, given a successful flow test at ice one 2H are significantly below the current oil price. So our P50 scenario or in the, in the middle for both the cost and the flow rate is less than $40 per barrel, which is outstanding.